Well, this morning was that an eruption started uh, very close to Grindavik, which is very serious. Um, we have been following the development of the rupture since, and actually the barriers that we have been building, even though they are not finished, we have seen that they are actually you know, providing some protection for the town, so the lava has changed its direction. But then around noon we had a new shock when a fissure opened within the town, and there is lava flowing up from that fissure already. Uh, Several houses have gone under lava, so it's a very serious situation we're faced with here right now. The government is meeting tomorrow and we will decide on continued support for the people of Grindavik, uh, housing support, salary support. We need to put a lot of extra efforts in finding more housing, uh, suitable housing for the people in Grindavik because many of them are really in unacceptable conditions and have been uh, since November, even though we have been buying up apartments, we need to do a lot more. We will also provide some support for the companies in Grindavik. We had this eruption uh, started just before 8 o'clock this morning. Uh, it was on the area where we have been expecting it to come, but uh, unfortunately it, it went a little bit more south than, than we had hoped for. So it went inside the barriers that we have already built, and then also uh, about three, four hours later we had a, a, another opening uh, just outside the town of, of Grindavik. So we have lava both uh, running uh, north of the barriers to the west, which is uh, uh, the best way for it. But we have. Uh, Design the barriers to work in that way, but also uh, to the to the south and uh, getting close to the to the to the town. And then we had this fissure just outside Grindavik, and we have now lava inside the town, and some houses has uh, has burned or be buried under the lava, and it's still going quite strong uh, into the town. So we see that the potential damage will be will be quite much. It's tough in many ways, but I am optimistic by nature and I try to maintain optimistic. But, you know, this is, this is big, this is serious. It's basically as bad as can possibly get, although it might get even worse, who knows. So, I mean, I'm born in this town. I actually live in the house that I'm born in. And it's kind of, it's, it's a tough, it's a tough thought to think that that this town might be over, and I would have to start all over somewhere else. But if that's the case, then that's exactly what we'll do. We always hope that, you know, the last eruption that was on the 18th of December, that was further away, and that didn't bother us at all. There was nothing to worry about, basically. So we were kind of hoping it would, you know, be coming up there, or even farther, further away from us. But the worst case scenario just, happened and that's that's what we're dealing with it's very sad we grew up there this is how i miss my Oli's coffee shop i would stuff the day there where the other brother is he's running that one and 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 a lot of good people it's extremely sad it's just yeah, it's unbelievable you know, i th thought that i would never live to you know witness this it's been quiet for 800 years. 800 years. But hopefully, hopefully this will only last for one or two days, like, like last eruption. It went up, it was very big, but the morning after it was almost over. So we'll just have to hope that this will end soon. So, yeah.
volcano erupted in southwest Iceland on Sunday. It's the second volcanic eruption on the Reykjanes Peninsula in less than a month. The eruption, which began in the early hours, posed an immediate threat to a small nearby fishing town. But authorities said that the area north of Grindavik had been evacuated the previous day, over fears that an outbreak was imminent amid an uptick in seismic activity. Early morning video footage from the site showed fountains of molten rock and bright orange lava spewing from fissures in the ground. Authorities have been building barriers of earth and rock in recent weeks to try to prevent lava from reaching Grindavik, some 25 miles southwest of the capital Reykjavik. But the latest eruption appeared to have penetrated the town's defences. A spokesperson told public broadcaster RUV that, based on flow models, it could take the lava a few hours to reach Grindavik if it continued to head towards the town. The eruption marks the fifth in Reykjanes since 2021.